VVS, have a look at the values and have a look at what you could be buying for the summer. So let's just start here, Porsche 911 Speedster. So a GT3 in convertible form, 1948 built. The first Speedster was built in 1948 and this is a homage to that. It's a fantastic car, I've actually driven this car and it's beautiful to drive. It's one of the best GT3s. I prefer the look of it to the 992 actually. I think it looks great. For me, not sure on why, I would probably have silver or maybe black, but it's an awesome car. It's gonna hold its money. I think the owner who bought this, I think it's up for 20,000 more than it was six weeks ago. So I think he'd do very well with this car. Let's go round, we've got a GT4 in Supreme Red here. Quite a dark color, I like the GT4. This is the latest model. Color, I'd like to see it in the daylight. I'd probably put silver wheels, but again, good value. Um, the GT4s always seem to hold their money. Atom, again, not sure on this, but it's more of a track day car. Not sure for this, um, the roads around here, especially on the country lanes and everything, but nice spec, this one. And I love the Olins on the front. My scooter rear, so 7,000 mile, Rosso Mugello, very rare color. I think there's maybe two or three in this color ever. Um, gold wheels, very good spec, very high spec. Um, I really enjoyed this car, I really like it, but it, it's gonna have to go. It's been here, we've had the front spoiler done, the rear bumper done. I'm sure it's gonna sell this summer and someone's gonna have a fantastic car. Lamborghini Gallardo, now I really think this is a good buy. I think it's 78K, 22,000 miles, manual, manual V10. How many manual V10 Lamborghinis are there? Hardly any. Um, I don't know the exact numbers, but Harrison here would. Um, I think this is a good bet. The yellow with the gray wheels, not so sure. I think maybe it could have black or silver, might look better. This one is sold. This is, a, I think this is a Mosler. Let's have a look. Mosler. This is sold. Um, supercar advocates in Australia have bought this. So this is going to be exported out. This is more of a track car. Mercedes SL55, this is about 160K, um, black with like a, a brown interior. This one looks a lot of value. I think this is 70K, it looks a lot of car, lovely seats. Over the back, Vanquish, Aston Martin, really nice looking car, maybe not the best to drive, they do do a manual conversion. DBS, this has only done I think 1700 miles, it's up for about 180K one of the best looking cars I think ever. Um, I think I've had two or th no, three DBSs. Um, tend to sell them, they lose a bit of money, then buy another one and they never seem to go up. But this one's, you say, like brand new. 599, we have here gray, like a, a creamer interior, lovely car. I think they've got someone on this. F8, Tributo. Ferrari, this is about 260K, lovely one-off color. Aston Martin V12 Vantage S, love this blue. I could do a lot with this car, especially as a CTR car. Automatic gearbox, just keeps the value down a bit. A lot of people like the manual. This F12 has just come in, love the look of this. Gray, it's just perfect spec. Wheels are perfect, yellow calipers, yellow shields lovely seats very comfortable seats i really like this car and, and i love this color hellcat never been in one i'm sure this is a monster it doesn't overly interest me it looks a really really big car it looks to me like dukes of hazard um mclaren 720s now these are always going to be the best value for performance this color it's like a, a flat matte sort of gray not like a ceramic not sure the exact name of it um Orange calipers goes well with this car. And I think these are sort of probably about, I don't know, 130K, good buy. VVS have just taken on this Mercia Largo as their own car. So this would be coming to Heva. I really like this car, I really love the color actually. Perfect wheel spec with the black. I think this looks fantastic and the Mercia Largos are only gonna go up. What we're gonna do now is walk through all the Lamborghinis and just have a little bit of a talk about Heva. 
So Hever Castle is coming up 6th of August, really hope you can make it, but VVS are kindly helping me with that event and are trying to get 60 Lamborghinis. But let's start here, the ultimate, ultimate Aventador, one of 350. I love this car. I actually, I don't know, if, I think I probably prefer it without the spoiler at the back. It does look amazing and I love the wheels, centre locking wheels, the red with the grey with the gold. I think it looks fantastic. But let's come along a bit more. SVJ Roadster. Now I think all of these V12s here are really good buys. I think long term these are going to do well but this is an SVJ. I think it's probably, I think there was 900 or 700. I have to look at the plaque in there but basically I think this Roadster is a great buy gray gold i like the green i wasn't sure i'd like it but coming in here i really like the green on this and svjs are just a good place to be i think they're going to go up same as this one but it's a coupe like a lighter gray red stitch red calipers center locks again really really lovely car i've never driven one of these i'd love to but these are the type of cars we're going to be bringing to heaver especially by the castle area Aventador, not sure what this probably looks like a 2013 orange with black obviously bright colors Aventador's need and back in that time a lot of them were getting oranges these type of blues like a light blue oh like a baby blue it's a lovely car this is the one we used at Heaver with VVS for the video Mercia Largo, Mercia Largo, Mercia Largo, Mercia Largo now these cars are going up we spoke about it before I'll give you an example. When I purchased this, uh, this one here, it was 340,000. I rejected 650. This is within three years. That was the advice VVS gave me at the time. It wasn't the car I was looking at buying the Mercia Lago SV, but I did. They said, that's the best car, that's gonna have the best returns, and they were 100% right. So thank you, Dan, for that. But these Mercia Lagos are now starting to come up because these are going so high. So these are probably around 170, 180K, but I think they're just gonna move up into the, the quarter of a million. This is my own car. VVS kindly have got this here because we had to do a service. They brought it back here. Um, it was a Lamborghini in, in Tunbridge Wells as well for the service and in their showroom for a bit. The lowest mileage UK car. There were six made. There's only three left. This has only done 4,000 miles. All the other cars are over 10,000 miles. I love this car now. 600 mile SV. It's an import from Singapore. This is the next one to go up and up. It's not on the market at the moment. VVS has taken it off because they've all had such a rise. Potentially they're all gonna be a million pounds. So we just keep them there, enjoy them. Let's come round, Performante. Now, we had the purple STO, but they, people are saying the Performante is the better buy. So I haven't driven one. I'm gonna to talk to Harrison. I'd like to drive one. So I drove the STO. It's fine. I didn't overly do a lot for me. I think it looks fantastic, but it wasn't something I'm gonna drive all the time. But the Performante, people are going from the STO back to the Performante. So it's gonna be interesting if I can drive one of those. These have gone up. These went down to like 150K back, and I thought, oh, they're gonna go lower, and they didn't. They've rose back up in the 200s. This car's a little gem. Super Legera, Gallardo. Again, I think these have got some movement to go up. I assume these are probably around 110K. I'd have to check that, but yeah, you can go on the website and look all the prices. It's a lovely color. I think it's the same color as my Mercia Largo. Gray wheels, ceramic brakes. This could be a good car to buy. Speciali, I've owned a Speciali before. Good cars, I personally don't think they're as good to drive as the GT3 RS 991 I had or the 675 LT. I found the steering a bit quick, a bit twitchy, but I think maybe it was a track car and on the road, I couldn't use it enough and, and get up to speed to really use all the aerodynamics and really enjoy it but it was a very easy car, easy to get in and out of, easy to use. 675, this is the last car, all in one take, 675 LT Spider. This was my car, I purchased this car from new. Um, this is for sale here, 260,000. I think I paid about 370,000 back when they come out, but this was the car of the time. 
these went right down to like 200 and are now coming back up. Um, it's a lovely blue. It's quite light on spec, but I think it's really classy, really nice. Um, I like the orange calipers. I think these have been changed because I think originally I had silver. I like the interior. Now, there's one problem with this car. It's very difficult on the road. It's too low. Now, if I was driving around Tunbridge Wells, I just kept grounding out in a lot of, a lot of places. Bit frustrating, the lift is quite slow. So if you're looking at one of these to drive on the road, you've got to have perfect A roads. If you're on B roads, bumps, doo -doo -doo, I think you'll find it a bit frustrating. Other than that, it's probably one of McLaren's best ever cars other than the P1. I hope you enjoyed that. It's a whistle top store. There's a lot of cars here. I've had to try and memorize a lot of things, probably got some prices wrong and bits wrong on there, but have a look on their website. Great place to come in and see. They make a lovely coffee and I'm sure you're gonna get a lovely summer car.